Hello and welcome to today's video. I hope you are all staying safe, washing your hands and staying home. Now staying home is what I want to talk about today because I want to talk about home photography. Now there is so much you can do at your very own house and get some absolutely awesome professional looking photography and hopefully today we're going to be really creative, get some really cool work and without any further delay let's jump right in to today's video. I'm really excited for this one. Let's go. Right, so the first photographing thing we're going to try is oil and water, is it? Oil and water. Oil and water photography, I was right, and we're going to try that right now. So this is what you need. So we've got everything set up right here. We're going to be using the Nikon D750 uh, and we're also going to be using a 51.8. Now we do technically need a macro lens, but one thing I have got to count like that is this little extension, which hopefully should give me the results I'm looking for. So let's go and give this a go, shall we? Right, when you join me outside, and this is idea number two. Now, right here, we have got the Nikon set with a very fast shutter speed, looking straight at that glass right there, which we're going to put water in, and we're going to drop an item straight into it and hopefully capture a really cool splash. Um, for the background, I've got some towels now. Preferably, I would have had like black cardboard or something in the background, so it would look a bit better, but we can see what we can do. We've got some good lighting today, actually, to be fair, so I've decided to do this outside because it's nice and cushioned because I've got a cloud, and hopefully, We'll get a really cool shot of this. We've actually got two ideas to do with the wine glass. So we'll do this one first and we'll do the other one. So let's begin. Just for a little bit of fun, you might remember I said I've got Zeiss lenses on loan, uh, and obviously because we stopped our short film filming, I've had to bring them home with me, and I thought, why not do some photography with them? I mean, I'm on manual focusing right now, why don't I give a bit of fun with them? So, I'm using a Zeiss lens right now, which is um, pretty sick, but obviously any lens will do. <laughs> oh, that might have been sick. Oh, <laughs> that's sick, that is awesome. We don't need the fruit anymore, so batter up. <laughs> so the next photography we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the wine glass from earlier and we're gonna literally have it wave. We're gonna wave it around in front of camera and get a few cool shots. So hopefully this will look pretty sick. Let's give it a go. No. <laughs> camera did not focus whatsoever. <laughs> it was just like, I'm not ready. Right, attempt two. Hopefully camera focus this time and they're not just like waiting for it to focus. Just waving water around like a madman. Oh, it's a bit of a wet one. Oh, that looks cool. <gasps> that looks pretty awesome though. Right, that's that one. Let's go on to number four. So the next one on our list is, we need one of these, a tennis ball, and all we need to do, put it in water, and we're gonna spin it. It's gonna look pretty sick. Right, so all you're gonna need for this one is a bowl of water and a tennis ball. We got some good results in that one. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, for our next idea, I've put a jacket on, I've got a hood, and I need to. Oh, shed's locked. I need to get some string, and I've got some dice. Now I'm going to do very creative and do like a self portrait. And I've got a hood, so I can like hide my face and look cool or uncool. Probably uncool. So 
this is my DIY setup. I basically got some string on my tripod head, attached to the tripod thing, fastened down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look like I'm throwing these. <laughs> Right, so for our next area of photography, uh, I don't know what number we're on, uh, the number will probably be in the title of the video, but what we have got is one of these. Now what you can get is a conda, a sieve, whatever, put it in front of your subject to get some cool patterns and hopefully we'll get some cool photography there. Now I am not a model, so bear with my modelling skills, they're really bad. Now for this I will also have the camera on a timer mode, so hopefully I can then get into position, have the camera focused correctly and it will work all well, so let's begin. I'm trying to like line it up with this. So that might be something you might want to do is try and find a guideline. So this is what I'm trying to line it up against this so then I can focus it here so I know where to stand. Because manually focusing it, I've got to like be very precise. And also because I don't have a flippy out screen, I have to do weird positions to actually try and get focus. <laughs> Apart from modelling, they're great. So I think they'll do as an example. I don't, I'm not going to put too much effort into them because it's my mug. What we're going to do is this. I have got my phone on some string and obviously we're going to put that in front of the camera, take a photo of the phone, remove the string in Photoshop and we're going to put an object behind it and do the phone thing instead of me holding it though. For the first time I want to make the phone flow and hopefully this works and I don't drop my phone. <laughs> It's all right. It's it's okay. It landed like that. It landed like that, and hopefully that's all right. That's already broken. Oh. All right. So little status on the phone. It's absolutely fine, actually. If you are going to do that, just be really careful. If this was an apple, it might be a different story. Right, so the next area of photography we're working on is light trail photography. Now what I've got right here is an RGB light and this will change any colour I want it to. And then from here I've got the Nikon D7500 set up with a flash. The flash will fill in the subject first and then I will add in the light behind while it's doing its long exposure photography. And then from there we'll hopefully get some really cool results. <laughs> Right, you join me where we have edited all the photographs now and what we're going to do is have a little look through what we have taken and um, yeah, let's just see what we got. So the first area of photography we did was the oil and water and it's the first time I've ever done anything like this and was very happy with these results. They look quite cool, I played around with presets and a lot of these but it's quite fun and I did enjoy it. The next one was the glass photography. Now I just loved doing this, I could have literally done this all day it was so fun and the results were spectacular i mean i love this one right here with this massive splash it just works so effectively i find uh, one thing actually quite funny with this one was you can see right here that there's some like orange tinge to it i didn't realize i had my fingers in front of the lens so it created this like orange tinge that works as a coincidence really Many of the examples I got for this one were fantastic. I really enjoyed it. The detail you get in these shots. Next one was the waving of the glass. I was again very happy with these ones. I like the contrast between the green background and the glass itself. You're getting such interesting patterns. Um, some people said they could see like fish. So I could see like a mermaid on this one. And I'm just really happy with all these results. I could have played all day with the splash and the uh, water waving. Because you never know what result you're going to get. That's really fun. So very happy with the glass ones. Next was the tennis ball. I got one okay result. I was quite happy with this one. I do love the droplets and the effect you get. This was another one that I took uh, last year. I did the same thing but I did it at sunset. And I had my dog in the background and that worked really nicely. So definitely play around with this, maybe get a tennis racket. A lot of potential here. That's a real fun area as well. Next was the dice one. Uh, I was quite happy with this final result. Um, I was a bit frustrated because I couldn't find a battery pack for the mask. 
And if you imagine this shot right here with the mask behind and the blue mask, it would look fantastic. Uh, but that is the one thing I would change. And also uh, another thing I would change to be fair was to remove the tape here. Uh, but overall, just for this example, it works really nicely and I think a pretty cool result. And I might actually try and take that one again when I get time. Next one was the phone one. Uh, it didn't work. Phone survived. That was the best one I got of it. You can do a lot of different backgrounds of subjects. The hardest thing for the phone I found was trying to keep it straight because I'll, I'll constantly it was moving. But that was the best one I got. I could do it again handheld and just have my hand in it and it would work a lot better. Try whenever. It wins some. It wouldn't lose some. That one was a loser. The next one I tried was the colander thing. I got some interesting patterns. Bad and barely bad modeling. I got some cool patterns here. Played around again with a lot of color grading on these ones. Worked quite nicely. I like the color grading I did on this one. Uh, worked very really nicely. As well, I also found in my dining room, there was actually this really cool shadow being created because of sunlight and where it was positioned. And I was able to take some really like cool looking photographs of my eye. It was a bit annoying because of obviously Nikon Z6's eye focus because it's really eyelash focus uh, but these results are pretty cool and I like this one here because you can imagine like like red eyes or something appearing like a horror thing really look at light see what you can do and I just thought well this might make a cool photograph and it was worth it the next one was the indoor photography with the light and the light trails found that we've got some absolutely awesome results with this light trail now you don't have to use the light I was using you can use like your phone you can also grab like folders that are like see-through folders that are like green, red, blue. Put them in front of the camera, wave them around, you'll get some pretty interesting results. Very happy with these results as well. As well, I also tried product photography. I had the light as well, put it at a really low angle and got this really cool photo of this Coke can. I also put some droplets on it. I got a empty bottle of aftershave and literally sprayed it on the bottle got these water droplets and it just looked really cool. As well with product photography, you can also use the available light you've got. Say for example, this one. This was shot just from the bedroom window and it came in and it just lit up this part of the subject perfectly. You can actually see in this example right here, uh, that is the window right there lighting this up and creating this effect so very happy with that one as well now i've got a few bonus ones that i did as well i didn't film these but i tried them out the first one was this one i got a play a deck of playing cards and i had one person well my hand holding them and then i had me in the background looking like he threw them and the other guy caught them kind of works it kind of doesn't bit of fun trial and error see what you can do uh, i also tried it again in my room and i literally just like spread them like that that was the best one very happy with that one as well and as well you don't just have to do all these different things and self-portraits and splashing. Look around your garden, there might be something really interesting. Um, I found this like ant house or whatever it is, insect house. It just made a really cool photograph with the greens and the blues and the browns. It just really combined together and looked really nice. I found an old pair of shoes that made for an interesting photograph-ish, uh, but not the best, but something different. And then I found this lantern, which looked really cool with this moody look to it. So yeah. They were all the photographs I have got and I'm quite happy with all the results and if you want to tell me which one's your favourite they will be on Instagram, 10 of them will be and you can choose which one's your favourite so let me know on Instagram, my link for my profile is in the description below or just search up Kurtz.Padley and you'll find me in a jiffy. So yeah, that has been my video about home photography. Now if you did like the video be sure to like it, hit the subscribe button as well, be really deeply appreciated. And if you do like this video and it does go quite well, then I might make another one because I have still got quite a few more ideas. I'd also like to say, stay safe everyone. And until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.